This video is about plates. No, not that kind of plate. Eh, not that kind either, but closer? Now that's more like it. You're looking at a tectonic plate made up of the crust and the outer mantle of the earth. These plates float upon hot magma in the same way you might float in the middle of a pool in an animal-themed flotation device, though without all the burning. Unfortunately, I have to add in an annoying child to represent a second tectonic plate. The child will inevitably ram into you, reenacting how two plates can collide and make mountains. He might annoyingly slide past you, which in real life could create an earthquake. If you're lucky, he'll just move away from you, exposing free pool to evaporate in the sun, just like plates moving apart can expose molten magma to the world. Though the majority of the geological activity of tectonic plates happens at their borders, a la the Pacific Ring of Fire, hotspots are areas of volcanic activity that happen in the middle of plates. I guess it could be like you sneezing and spilling lemonade everywhere? <sighs> Analogies can only go so far. Anyway, these hotspots are thought to arise from mantle plumes, a less understood phenomenon where hot magma gets pushed up from near the Earth's core to shoot up out of the ground. Though plumes are thought to be relatively stationary, the tectonic plates above them are free to move around. This creates a situation where a hot spot in the middle of an ocean can suddenly erupt, make some land, have the plate above it move, and then erupt again. After multiple eruptions, you might get something like, say, Hawaii. By understanding this process, you can track the movement of these massive tectonic plates just by looking at Google Maps. Zooming out from Hawaii, you'll notice a chain of islands and underwater mountains extending northwest, known as the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount Chain. It just so happens that these were all created by the same erupting hotspot, as the Pacific Plate moved north and then suddenly changed directions northwest over it. Chains like these can be seen across the world, including the Tasmanted Seamount Chain on the Australian Plate, the 90 East Ridge on the Indian Plate, the Walvis Ridge and Mascarene Plateau on the African Plate, the Juan Fernandez Ridge on the Nazca Plate, and the New England Seamounts and Great Meteor Hotspot Tracks on the Atlantic Plate. All of these were created from the movement of tectonic plates over hotspots for millions of years. These seemingly innocuous lines in the ocean are further evidence for just how active our planet Earth is. Or it's just aliens. <laughs>